Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, we're gonna be making a fabric and room refresher at home DIY that is chemical free and safe to use around pets. So uh, I have done other videos on my channel, different cleaners and things that are chemical free, that are phthalate free, that's the, that's, key, right? No phthalates. We know that phthalates cause cancer and we don't want to use these in our home for our health, for the health of our family, for the health of our pets. Um, they're so much smaller than us. We know that these toxins build up in their bodies a lot quicker than with us. And so I'm just going to say it. This is a Febreze replacement. And I have not used, I know when Febreze first came out, I do remember buying it maybe once or twice. I definitely haven't used it in well over a decade and I honestly haven't missed it. But for some reason recently, I have found myself wanting and I think it's because I'm going through this like, I need to reorganize my entire house thing. <laughs> so it's making me want to do all of these different things around the house and Using a fabric refresher or a general room refresher is something that's going to make the um, air in my house smell better. I think a lot of people this time of year were like not quite into spring. We're so ready to, for winter to be over with. And in a lot of places, it's not like warm enough really to open the doors and windows and let air circulate through the home. So a lot of people will reach for solutions to make their homes smell better. And we definitely don't want to do that with chemicals. And I have a couple other videos on my channel. I'll, I can put the links below uh, in the description below so you can check those out after you're done with this video. That goes into more detail about why we don't want to use all of these chemicals in our home. You may be here because you already know you don't want to use chemicals in your home and that's awesome. Um, but definitely, no matter what it is, we don't want to put phthalates in the air or on the counters or on the floor in our home. So I look for a lot of natural solutions anytime I can, especially because I care, I mean, I care so much about my health and my family's health, but my pet's health, it's so important to me. So what we're doing, all of this is so super easy. This is actually gonna be a pretty quick video. And if you like this video at any point, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are you like this kind of content, let me know, post in the comments because if you don't let me know what kind of content you want, then I'm just creating whatever I want. And that's not good. I want to create what you want. So post below and let me know if you like this kind of content, if you want more DIY solutions that are non-toxic around the house uh, for your pets. So in this uh, room refresher, I've already got my bottle, I put my label on it, and I've got my bottle about three quarters of the way full of uh, water. And I didn't use tap water. I never use tap water unless I absolutely have to. I mean, we use tap water to like wash our dishes, which when I think about it, it sounds horrible. We have some horrible water in San Diego. So um, let me get my funnel. I should have gotten that out before I started, but I didn't. So I've got a little funnel here. I've got about three quarters of the way full of water because what we're doing is a three to one ratio. Three parts water to one part white vinegar. White vinegar is a natural disinfectant and deodorizer. So we're gonna use water and white vinegar. And I hope I don't spill any of this. So I'm just gonna do one part white vinegar to my three parts water. So now I'm almost full. Now what is really gonna make our home smell amazing is using an essential oil. And you can use any kind of fragrance that you prefer or love, but I do want to caution you about the types of essential oils that you use, especially around your pet, because poor quality essential oils can harm your pets. So I only recommend and use Animalio, which are veterinary grade essential oils, meaning that they are, any blends are created and any even um, singles, which this is just a single of lavender, are 
used around all different types of animals. Um, Dr. Melissa Shelton is a holistic or integrative veterinarian, and she actually has done tests and trials with all different types of animals to make sure she is using the most, the, the highest quality oils that she can source all around the world, and um, she makes sure that they are 100% safe for any type of animal. To, so I know with 100% certainty that this lavender is of the best quality and it is not going to harm my pets. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put, I don't know, between 10 and 15 drops of lavender in my container here, my, my bottle that I have a spray cap for. Okay, so I actually got about 16 drops of lavender in there, and oh my gosh, it smells so wonderful. You can use lots of different kinds of essential oils. I really love citruses, so you know, lemons and grapefruits, even lime, I love citruses. Make it to, you know, something that you want. I'm primarily gonna be using this on linens, uh, which is why I went ahead and just chose a lavender. And so all you're going to do is gently rock it back and forth. You don't want to shake it up vigorously. Um, oil and vinegar will separate. So anytime you go to use this, you do want to give it just a gentle rocking to mix it all together before you start to spray it. And it's literally something you can spray anywhere in your home to refresh the air, to refresh fabrics on your couch, um, refresh your linens and it's gonna smell amazing, 100% non-toxic to you and your family and your pets. So that's based, that, I mean, that's super simple. That's really all you have to do. It is like one of the simplest DIYs imaginable. So uh, if you like this again, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns or if you have an idea for another video you want me to do, please leave it in the comment section below. And I really look forward to hearing from you. Try this out. Let me know how much you love it. I really hope it replaces any store-bought fragrance, um, fragranced sprays that you buy because those can be dangerous, especially when they contain natural fragrances. That's a word that um, companies have been allowed to use instead of telling you what is actually in the product, generally because it's a phthalate, which is a known carcinogen. So we definitely don't want to use those in our home. Use something like this instead. I know there are lots of different um, recipes that you can find online and honestly, no matter what, if you have pets in your home, I only recommend Animalio essential oils because, and no, I am absolutely 100% not affiliated with Animalio and I do not have um, any financial stake in this whatsoever. I just absolutely love this company. I love Dr. Shelton and I love what she does for animals and people alike. And you know, we're animals too. I, we're humans, we're animals, we're mammals, just like our dogs and our cats. So I definitely don't want to put anything in my home that's gonna harm me or my family or my pets. So I trust Animalio and I highly recommend that this is the only essential oil you use, uh, whether you're diffusing or making something else in your home that calls for essential oils. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thanks again so much for watching and please post in the comments below. I'd love to know what you thought of this video and questions or recommendations for other videos or other DIYs. If you have the product in your home that you want to replace with a natural chemical free um, product that you can make, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to make a video for you. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.